Can we have a moment for the feud that's happening on the Will and Grace set? I'm not okay with it. I'm not. I'm not okay with it. Feels really good to close my eyes though. Oh, like it feels really good. It feels really good. <laughs> what a mess. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the 2008 People's Choice Awards. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a bird, a bird, <laughs> there's a bird chirping down the hall. Eugene, bud, dad's working. You wanna come say hello to the people really quick? Eugene, say hello. Okay, so like quick recap, if you don't know, Will and Grace is a TV show that was on in the 90s. The late 90s. It did very well, very successful. It wasn't at first really successful, but it got really success success. Successful. I can speak English. And so it was on for like eight years and then it ended and then it was like bibbity bobbity boo, we're doing revival and then they did a revival and now they're on their third and final season. Eugene, do you have to play with the loudest toy you have right now? I don't think it's necessary. Fucker. You ran towards the front door. I didn't think being a father would be this hard. It's really hard. So they're on their final season of their reboot. I'm heartbroken about it. Oh my God. Hmm. I can't. Get out. I thought we'd get more than three seasons. I'm not gonna lie. And maybe that's me just being like, whoa, Sally, whoa. But like, I thought we'd get more. I thought we'd get more! We got three. I mean like, whoa, Sally, whoa. We weren't even supposed to get three, so I should be very excited about that. But now it's ending? And it's like not even ending in like a good way. Like it's ending in a bad way with like rumors and like shit. Not great. I may have smoked a little more. I'm a good college student, so... What? I'm not a college student. I don't know why I said that. She doesn't even go here. Ah. Uh, I feel great. Some lovely people who, um... If I had a lot of money, I would sign them up for, like, some, like, hobbies, because I don't think they have... Or maybe just like not a lot going on. Or maybe they have too much going on and this is their escape. I'm judging people and I shouldn't be judging people. Ah, oh, I would. I just got too much to do tonight. These people noticed that Megan Mullally stopped following co-star Deborah Messing. Fans noticed Megan unfollowed Deborah on Instagram. Ugh. I don't know if any of them are boomers, but if they are boomers, okay boomers. <laughs> I said it wrong. Heartbreaking. I'm, I'm heartbreaking. Unless Deborah Messing is currently pregnant with Nick Offerman's child. Kiss and make up. Like, let's get the fuck, like, what? Like, stop. Huh? And then, of course, people started speculating that the reason the show was ending, a little early for my liking, was because these two can't fucking get along. Reports allege the feud between Deborah Messing and Megan Mullally have led to the show's cancellation. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Unreal is what it is. It's shocking. It's fucking shocking is what it is. Shocking. It's fucking shocking is what it is. This is really hard for me. <coughs> It was hard because I had to cough. And yes, season two wasn't the greatest season. David Schwimmer, really? Come on, guys. And just a few days after they unfollowed each other on Instagram, they both started posting these, like, memes about removing toxic people from their lives. Deborah posted this quote, May this day be the day to lead us to peace, to happiness, and to joy. Like, I created that move in high school. Why are you, what's up, what's wrong with you? Do you wanna come sit with dad? Are you scared? Ugh. My little man is scared. I don't really know what he's scared of. Can you hear the bird chirping? Is that what's making you scared? My voice is beginning to change, Eugene. Okay, you just sit there. Megan reportedly posted a mysterious message about people who aren't good for you and also posted and later deleted an Insta story about feeling the best after she lost her attachment to somebody. People love to post and delete things. Felt cute, might delete later. <laughs> But yeah, I literally created that move in high school. The passive aggressive, like changing the MSN name to like a song lyric or a Desperate Housewives quote. Okay, maybe I was the only one using Desperate Housewives quotes, but whatever. 
My voice is beginning to change, Eugene. This is what being a man is like, Eugene. Eugene, it's what being a man is when your voice changes, yes. <laughs> I think I might be the one who's scaring him. <laughs> And then get this, an anonymous source told Radar Online they can't stand to be near each other. And it created an impossible atmosphere on set. Okay, now, of course, this could all be fake anonymous source, like, what even is that? You know what I mean? Who are you? Wait a minute! Who are you? For all I know, the anonymous source could have been, like, my grandmother. And then it was announced last week that Megan Mullally will be taking a leave of absence from the show, resulting in missing two episodes. I'm hungry. Like, are things really that bad? Like, really that bad? Like, what happened? Like, oh my god, he's taking a leave of absence? Stop it. And I can't remember if this happened before or after this, because, like, you know, things are in my lungs and stuff. Yeah, why are your eyes like that? He's smoking? No, I just got weed in my, something in my, smoking something, smoking weed. She unfollowed Sean Hayes on Instagram. It's She now only follows Eric McCormick. Is he, is that true? I need to look it up. Guys, this is live. This is live. We're fact checking live here. Still follows Eric McCormick. Fantastic. Sean, hey. Nope. Deborah. Nope. Oh. Wow. Shocked. Absolutely shocked. Okay, so let's like do a little catch up here. Unfollowed Deborah. Unfollowed Sean. We're taking a leave of absence from the show. Feuding. Final season. I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I'm thinking my nose is itchy. It's just really sad. It's sad. Hey guys, I'm really sad. Now, Eric McCormick has come out, I think he was asked by like TV Line or Hollywood Reporter or someone. He came out and said that everyone gets along like a house on fire. Something like that. And I don't think he means what that sounds like. Doesn't sound great. And maybe that's a very popular expression and I don't get out a lot, you know? I read this apartment a lot. But it sounds a lot like anger. Somebody's mad. And Megan Mullally is like barely promoting the final season. Like it doesn't even feel like it's the final season. No one's talking about it. I haven't really seen them on many talk shows. I know Eric McCormick was gonna be on like the Kelly Clarkson. Jesus take the wheels, that Carrie Underwood. Are they the same person? I think they're the same person. Just like I kind of think that Sam Smith and Ed Sheeran are the same person. I think they're the same. I only learned recently that they're two different people. I mean, they're both great. And I don't know if Eric McCormick said anything about their feud on the Kelly Underwood show. My balls are itchy. Here are my thoughts. If you're going to let whatever this little feud, if it is real, gonna let this little feud completely taint the entire history of this show, the entire legacy of this show will be tainted because of your stupid little feud near the end. And again, unless Deborah Messing is pregnant with Nick Offerman's child, and even if she is, like, get over it. Like, it's really heartbreaking. This show meant so much to me growing up and still means so much to me growing, uh, growing up. <laughs> because I'm still growing. Stop it. Get some help. It obviously it taught me about who I am and helped me figure all that out, but it also taught me so much about comedy. It got me really interested in that and in acting and just performing and... Shut up! Oh my God, I don't care! And now, like, you're gonna let all of that just be tainted. I really hope that they, like, figure out their shit, because, like, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous! It is ridiculous! <sighs> when do puppies stop shedding? Yeah, I will be very heartbroken if this is how it all ends. That'll be heartbreaking. I can't stop popping my head. Now I'm just dancing. Oh, I also just like really want to point out that while doing research for this video, a lot of the articles I read, one in particular, every time they mentioned one of the actors' names, they put their age. Like, what does their fucking age have to do with this right now? What is the purpose of that? What the hell?
hell does this have to do with anything? Tell me what's happening! I'm looking at you, news.com.au. I don't think that's right. News.com? Maybe it is right. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think this feud is real? Do you think it's not real? Do you care? Like, what's happening? Do you even watch the show? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and if you like this video, please thumbs it up. Make sure you're... What's this? What was that? Please thumbs it up. Make sure you're subscribing. Share this video with your friends. Yeah! And be strong, be brave, and always remember to laugh a little. I meant to sing a song here. But I forgot. your hot take on the Deborah Messing Mega Malali feud. Uh, we're going to have to ask you to uh, get your shit together, ladies.